Good morning, Vietnam. Right. I'll just put another app on. So I can now see my screen. I can't, unfortunately. I'll let you see my screen at the same time. I'd need another computer for that. I try and speak clearly, so I feel sorry, brother. <laughs> I'm a bit gutter, it's a bit <laughs> it's gutter slang, isn't it? I, I couldn't speak properly of a bleeding child, I don't think. I sound like the Queen. You're right, three people from Liberia in a beer. What I'm trying to find? Oh, a dead Ebola patient moving his arm, captured on the film. <laughs> It's a bit like uh, one of them jumpers when he landed from 90 story drop, wasn't it? And his arm was still moving, still waving the bloody flag. <laughs> his anky. All them, all them jumpers had ankies, didn't they? <laughs> uh, piss off. Automation. Ebola outbreak in Texas. Will CDC successful come? Right. If you go into the images, type in Ebola. Type in anything you want, but as long as it's got all. But this is I've typed in Ebola hoax here, just for good measure. Um, I would like to see. Well, I wouldn't like to see. But I would like to see. I mean, obviously, there's people lying on the ground all over Africa, isn't the dead? I mean, it's not, you know, the malnutrition, the... Oh, there's a picture there of a beheaded bloke in one of them red suits. <laughs> not buying that one. Um, where are all the photographs? There's not enough. No. I want to see loads of photographs that look real. You know, with this flesh eating disease. And when I type in Ebola. Because you got to remember. There's quite a lot. Well, quite a lot. I wouldn't like to say. Millions and millions of mobile phones now. In Africa. All with cameras on. Well. Many with cameras on. So why wouldn't we be seeing brilliant photo evidence to back this bullshit up? Because right there we are. Here's one. Let's have a look at this. I mean, don't forget if what we are believing is true about our beautiful leaders. These people could be going into these tents and could be getting bleeding bumps off, couldn't they? Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take a picture of it. I can do that. Um, did all look very ill to me. It just looks like they've been told to lie down and we'll take a picture of it. You could probably get them in, just, they'd probably go in that tent just to get something to eat. And you got a picture of, what, of an act, you know, an American actor, I can't think what he's called. You know, they've put this one up. And they've put this one up. But again, it doesn't say it's Ebola, and I don't think it is Ebola that anyway, but... And they've put this one up. I'll have to run back and edit this. This one here. UK could impose travel restrictions on Nigeria to combat spread of Ebola. Well, if it were genuine. Uh, oh, just a picture of the bleeding full thing, can't I? 
you know, it... That's quite a good one. Uh, why, you know, why have they put this on? You know, you see what I mean? I want to see genuine people. I want to see something that, you know, whatever 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 I don't see real evidence in any of this it's, we should be seeing masses and masses of really good evidence that this disease is genuine the photos should be getting leaked out you know they're trying to tell me that that's Ebola that's a, he's had an accident surely Dangerous, scary, horrible, deadly. Let's visit the page. Right. Here we go. The Liberian, the, the Liberian president declares Ebola outbreak a national emergency. Ellen Johnson... Sir Leaf has declared the outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus in the country a national emergency. The Liberian leader made the declaration Saturday in her message to mark the country's 167th independence anniversary <coughs> held at the Central Memorial Pavilion in Lula. She urged all Liberians to come together. Well, wouldn't you be telling them to stay apart to fight the disease regardless of political, social, economic and religious persuasions? The Liberian leader has accordingly Continue the national task force, constituted a national task force headed by her to combat the Ebola outbreak. Can I make this bigger? I can't believe you see it. No, not really. I need a bigger screen. She said the national task force will be. Because I've just been watching that. That's a shame on you, Sticks and Hammer 666. Because I think you're pushing this when. It's just more and more oaks of it. I hope and pray it is, you know, I mean, I, I hope it's an oaks. The Lagos state government disclosed yesterday that the Nigerian, you see, economic the West Africa. I'll take a picture of that, you can read that if you want to read it. Can't really be asked. But again, um, Top Ebola doctor dies from virus. The doctor leading Sierra Leone's fight against the worst Ebola outbreak on record died from the virus on Tuesday. You can read that. I've already had a little look for you. Like, it's all crap. I just don't. Football ban. You can read that. We have a vaccine for but when we will we have a vaccine? <laughs> it's got this here. I mean, they re really ramping it. Like, I spoke to my mum the night, didn't I? I was saying, like, and I said, Well, what was it the other week? You know, it's when it's a swine flu, wasn't it? I said, Yeah, and then it was Al Qaeda. I said, No, it's Ebola and it's bleeding. Uh, avoid eating bush meat. Well, how can you do that if you live where these live? You can't. You can't do that, can you? Avoid eating. <laughs> Ebola can be considered more deadly, distressful to victims, are us, and worrisome problem to W to who than AIDS. Oh, right, another hoax, I would say. Without doubt, you are correct. Cold war extremely seriously, very, 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 very worrying. Unfortunately, the UK Ebola has now slipped down the list of newsworthy items. Other matters have taken its place, with, which pale into insignificance to this new threat to humanity. I cannot put my views any more strongly. And then showing us this. And then 
for showing us this. That picture of Ebola, it can't, it's not even a real picture, that it's off a of film apparently. And showing us this. And showing us this. Hey, there you go, I'll transvestigate that one in the middle surfer. <laughs> hey, he, he looks a bit feminine on the right. First American infected with Ebola. And a video that doesn't exist. So you, you can learn a lot off Google Images, you know. You'll actually learn more off Google Images than you will off listening to people on air, I'm finding. You can get a really good picture. And we're not getting a really good picture, are we? It just stinks as shit. Pardon me, French. Do, do, do you see what I'm seeing, though? Because we'd be seeing many, many pictures coming out of Africa of people with the flesh falling apart, right? Um, surely. You know, and there'd be thousands and thousands of pictures now, wouldn't there? all over Google Images, but it's all this crap that looks pretty staged to me. <laughs> That's a funny one there. <laughs> they don't believe it. <laughs> Bag on his head. <laughs> no. I'm not having it. Well, that looks pretty bad there. See, I want to see loads and loads of these. Many, many, many. It's a bit of a worry, that one, isn't it? But we would be seeing many, 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 many of these. Wouldn't we? We wouldn't be seeing one on Google Images. You know, and there are other things that would look like this anyway. We're going to go and do a video on Ebola in a minute. That's my next job.